the other blades. Like, try it again. Oh, I was just about to say, yeah, I figured we'd try it like this since we have the, uh, the, the different thing now. So this is trial number two with the three-blade Odin. Odin, yeah, that's what it is. Yep. And I'm going to hit the set button again. And uh, we'll see what it does. It's much more cooperative now because it uh, has what it's looking for, which is a, a stable mount. Unlike the camera, which unfortunately does not have a stable mount. Oh, the bottom of the tripod was loose. Maybe that'll make things easier. Okay. Let's turn the amp meter back on and see what we're doing. All right, 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 all right. Okay. Point one three is what we're doing right now. Maybe we'll just let the camera roll and uh, get us putting the other blades and light on it. Okay. It can't hurt, can it? The worst case scenario is we'll do something stupid, especially because we don't have the instructions. And it's not like we haven't done anything stupid on camera before. You done anything stupid on camera, Metal Feet? Well, the Homestead Homestar. I actually edited that out. Although, in hindsight, I wished I would have uh, left it in. So we gotta let this, it's not, it, it seems like it's already learned, because it's not, uh, relearning anything. Where's the back of the remote? Oh, here it is. Yeah, but it says to let it run for five minutes, so we're gonna let it run for five minutes. Yeah, it's definitely behaves much better with, uh, Nope, it's still doing the learn process because it flipped itself. I didn't do that. 0 0.01, 0 0.02, 0 0.01, 0 0.02. Oh, yeah, it, per it performs so much better. Point one four. This must be high. Mm -hmm. What time is it? I want to make sure we order the pizza oh, before it's it close. Like Eight forty-five. Oh, we got plenty of time. They close at ten. Okay. Worst case scenario, it says open till three a.m. Yeah. I haven't gone to see Mike in a while. I should go see him. Point one five. Point one six. Same same uh, airflow as before, or different? Um, that's the same. Same. Okay, how, or not here, that, there, we gotta, oh, this did it, yeah, it stopped after five minutes, so we gotta let it, uh, let it stop it. So, I would see, what was I, I was trying to say so many things in the Casablanca Classic video, so, um, one of the things was, I want to start testing fans in my garage, um, by the time Abby gets here, and in part because she hates coming out here. Yeah. And, um, but I, right now the garage is too full of stuff that needs to be moved into the house, but that's the goal. We obviously need to organize my storage because there's not, you know, make room for all the things in there, and then Mark Welker has been bugging me to dig him out and see how many, here's the thing, I gotta count how many gold line motors I have and how many gold line blades I have to see if I have any spares. What's he want? He wants a gold line motor, the 85 type. Oh, okay. And I have a bunch of 85 type motors, and then I have a bunch of blade sets, and I feel like, at least at one time, I had more motors than blades, but do I still have more motors than blades? I'm not sure. Because I remember your 12 wings <laughs> video, the Salon, those definitely look like 85 motors. Yep, those are 85 motors, but with uh, 80, like 80, 81 blades Union on them. blades. Yep. But even those blades are actually the same as 85 almost. Almost. 
Except for the brackets. The yeah. The the shape of the blade is a little different too. The union ones dip down a little more. Like the the post union ones are like kind of like a straight line and then they go up at the end. The yeah. union ones dip down and then go up at the end. You know what I mean? There's a little bit of a difference. It's subtle, but it's there. Okay. Okay, so here's the Odin ski. Yep, five minutes, eighteen seconds, same thing every time. Okay. So let's um Okay. So one point zero. It's jumping all over the place between point zero two and point zero seven. Oh, well, that's point zero nine. It's still trying to make up its mind. <coughs> Why is it? Uh... It's contemplating life. There we go. I think. Yeah, that looks like it. Point zero two, that's low. Speed two, point zero three. Speed three, point zero four. Speed four, this is the remote by the way. Point zero five. Nope, point zero six. Speed six, point zero eight. And then high. Point one six. So I can see if that's the same airflow that you got before. It seems like it's a hair faster, but it's hard to tell because at this slow of a speed. I'm feeling a tremendous airflow from it right here, but of course I'm like three feet away from an 84 inch fan. Yeah, this is definitely uh, getting into K55 airflow. Okay. So I'm going to hit stop, and we will compare it to six blades. Or nine. Oh. Nine blades, excuse me. You got three on and six more. Yep. To put on. So let's, uh, let's put the blades on, and I'm going to cut the power. I'll let the camera roll. So that we can do a, a what you call it video, those videos that people like. Oh, watch this. Uh, well, I speed it up and I put the yakety sax music on it. People like that. Benny Hill. Yes, thank you. That's what I was looking for. Hey guys, here's our official test of the uh, Fanimation Odin with the test rig. So the first thing you gotta do is I'm gonna hit the set button on the remote, which. Uh, Helps the it, it both the remote learns to the receiver as well as the receiver learns to excuse me the receiver and the motor learn to the fan and it just does a thing. So I hit power and then set. Then the fan should start and the light should come on. Yeah, let it do its yeah, lights going on and off. It's plowing part of it's doing some real some blinking there. Yeah. Amp meter is all over the place. And this whole process is supposed to take five minutes. We've done it now three times before, I think. Uh, I think twice, I thought. Once with no blades. Oh, yeah. And yeah. twice with three blades. Yeah. Why is it not? Oh, there it goes. It's getting its torque feel. So while it learns, I'm going to go wash my hands because they're kind of covered in whatever, fan residuals. You talk to the camera, say some interesting things, or make fart noises or something, <laughs> and I okay. then, then you can to wash your hands while, uh, yeah. while I do the same thing. All right. You know what I'm saying, yeah. yeah. I'll, be, I'll make fart noises if you don't, though. <laughs> okay, well, we would definitely a nice fanimation, and it just fits in here. So... And what I can also say, definitely it reminds me also of a big ass fan in the warehouses. But right now, uh, once it uh, decides to go the other direction, I can probably get an air test 
So I want to see what this thing does air movement wise. I know these are great air movers apparently, so. So yeah, and a nice LED light too. And of course, I, we all know this is actually a DC. I love DC Odin. You want me to wash your hands? Yeah. Oh, whatever this finishes, I kind of like it. It's almost like the same color as my car. It's not a nickel, it's almost like a... Do you think it's a pewter? No, it's like a champagne almost. It, I mean, maybe it is a painted silver, but it doesn't look like that. Yeah, so, not sure what Metal Pete entertained you guys with. Um, he's probably better at fart noises than I am. Pretty good at real farting, though. So, amp meter right now is 0 0.02, 0 0.06, 0 0.07, 0 0.02 again, 0 0.04. It's uh, trying to figure out what to do with this thing. So, I think... Because I just don't see where I'd ever use one. I think if Welker offers up a good trade, I'll trade it to him because he really wants one. And uh, if not, I'll keep it till I have a place to hang it because, I mean, they're insane fans. The thing about a big fan is even if they don't move, like, significantly more air than a smaller fan, if they move the same amount of air, the airflow pattern is different. That's the whole, like, sales principle of HVLS fans is where are we at? No, we still got plenty of time. Uh, that's like the whole, you know, the whole thing with HVLS fans is that they move air uh, with a much higher velocity than a conventional ceiling fan, and, um, what's it doing? And, uh, um, they can mix air over a much larger area. I still prefer, you know, smaller fans, but there's definitely a place for these. So it's, 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 it's doing a thing it didn't do the past time we did the learning process, so I don't know what it's trying to accomplish here. It can't make up its mind as to what it wants to do right now. <coughs> I'm hoping we didn't confuse it too bad with like putting three blades on it and stuff. If we did, then, you know, so be it. It's something I always wanted to try, but... See where are we at in the time. It should be almost done with its test. It should be like 20 more seconds and then it should be. So I don't know. But it stopped itself the past couple times. So I don't want to stop it. This is the pa paper that came with it. Anything interesting happening on the uh, Facebookery? Well, Aiden's interested in this Oda. He always wanted to see one of these. And I said, sure, yeah, we're working on one. We're testing one. He thinks this one's really cool. Loves this thing. Loves this thing. <clears throat> DC motor initial setup procedure. Important. This step must be performed before your fan will operate. Where are we at with time, by the way? Well, yeah, we're about there. So let's see if it works if I just hit low. Because it stopped. Is it powered off? Or no? It should be on. Look, light. Yeah, there's light. I'm trying to turn the light off. There you go. How about high? doing something now. I think you hit high last. Yeah, I did, and we're sure going on high now. We're drawing 0 .22 amps. Wow, what a, what a hog.
See how, see how the airflow compares to the three blades versus the other size of fans. Same. About the same as what it was with three blades, so about the same as it was with uh, as about a K fifty five fan, but yeah. not a gold line. Okay, do me a favor, go all the way back uh -huh. to where like the box is. Yeah. So this is instead of f fourteen feet, this is probably closer to thirty feet. Uh huh. Does it feel the same or less? Um, slightly less. See, now that's where a fan like this shines because if you have a gold line. The 14 foot distance, you feel it. You go, you know, or at least a K55 fan. I, don't, I haven't really done this test with a gold line, but the 14 foot distance, you feel it. You go 30 feet and you, you, you feel that there's air moving, but you don't feel a breeze. Right. But with something like this, you still feel a breeze that far away. Okay, so I, let's, let's stop it and let's try to go through the speeds now. So the light, it stopped by the way, the light draws 0.15. And that's probably about the same as a 100-watt bulb, so it's probably about almost a tenth of what a 100-watt bulb would draw. Do me a favor and just hit the light. No, we can't. Can we? We're, no, we're plugged into the wall. We can hit the lights. Yeah, let's just see how much uh, light this thing puts out. If you hit, go there, you hit the power strip and the other wall switch. The that, power that power strip and the other wall switch. That's plenty bright in here. Oh, yeah. That's, I mean, it's not enough to, like, work in this area, but if this were a bedroom... And you had probably two of these Odins for the whole space. Mm -hmm. That would be enough light for like a bedroom. Mm -hmm. Maybe not like a living room where you wanted to read brightly. Or well, my wife likes a dim living room, so who knows? Okay, you can turn them back on. <coughs> okay, so I'm gonna hit the light off. Speed one. It's going, jumping all over the place, but it's settling at around 0 0.02. Mm -hmm. Now it's at 0 0.05. I didn't change anything. So I don't know why that's different. I get a good breeze from it even on low, but I'm, again, I'm sitting super close to it. Now we're at point zero four. It's funny to be testing these current draws that have a zero in front of them that are zero point zero something. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like normally they're zero point something. They're they're about ten times higher, and uh, sometimes they're well over a, an amp, which would be. Uh, so let's see. So ten times higher would be point four. 100 times higher would be, so about 50 times higher. So an original would be like almost 50 times higher than that. Well, we're not really fair because we're comparing low to high. So we'll, we'll, so that's low. Here's speed two. 0 0.06 is what it looks like it's going to draw. No, 0 0.07. As it gets up to speed, it seems like it draws a little more. Here's speed three. Still point zero seven. Now we're at point zero eight. Now we're at point one one. I don't know why it's just DC motors are weird and I don't understand them. I need to read that motor book that Tom sent as homework. I haven't done anything, now it's at point one two. Here's speed four. Still at point one two. We'll give it some time to see if it increases from there. So far nothing. Now we're at point one one. Speed five. Speed six. All right now it's still at point one two. No point one three, point one four, point one five, point one six, point two, point two one, point two four, point two three, point two four, point two three.
Yeah, so we're about a uh, we're about a tenth of what an original would draw. Okay, so I don't know how reverse works with these, so I'm gonna drop it back down to low, which is point zero six five four. I'm gonna hit reverse. And we'll see what it does. It's out it's point zero one. It's gotta do some thinking. Think this. Yeah, it's it's very interesting to observe the differences in the shape of the airflow. You know what I mean? Because it may not be more air like at our normal testing place than uh, uh, an original mm -hmm. um, or a K55 fan, but it definitely feels like a stronger, gentler breeze where I'm sitting than like, you know, than like an original or a K55 fan. Like I said, you went to 30 feet out and you could still feel it comparable to what it was at 14, 15 feet. Yeah. That's not something you would get with a normal 52-inch uh, or even 56-inch fan. Well, however... Uh... You did say with that gold line, you could feel it all the way to the stairs. The 60-inch gold line? No, the, the regular or modern gold line. The... I probably could, but again, it's different in terms of it being like feeling air moving versus actually feeling a breeze in your face. You right. know what I mean? But... This, do you still feel like a breeze in your face when you're close to the stairs? Or are you... No. It's still... I'll have to go out there and, and see for myself to see how it compares. Yeah, because... I remember when we did the gold line, the modern gold line, yeah. you said you could feel it all the way to the stairs. I'd have to test them back to back to really see how they compare. Yeah. We're at speed 2, reverse, point zero seven. The way these blades are shaped, I don't see why reverse would do much. Speed 3, reverse, point zero eight, point zero nine, point one. Speed 4, reverse, point one one, point one two, point one three. Point one four. Speed five reverse. Still point one four. Still point one four. High reverse. Point one six. Point one seven. Is it going to stay at point one seven? Point one eight. Yep. Point one seven. Because there's less drag in reverse because of um, the blade shape is designed for forward. Yeah, it's like I know we said the Ascension is that same way too. Yeah, a lot of fans don't really, there's no practical reason for a reverse feature, but they put it on there because customers would be mad if it didn't have it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to hit reverse again, point zero one. Point one five. Oh, this is the first DC fan we've tested here, unless you count a super fan, which I mean those are a DC fan. This is the first of today's DC fans that we've tested here, and it's a, a worthy fan to test here. This, in some ways, is the. Uh, uh, best DC thing that Fanimation offers. Like, if you think, like, there's a DC Levine, there's a DC Islander, yeah. but those presumably don't perform much differently than a, uh, um, than, uh, than the AC version does. I mean, they probably draw less current, but I don't know if they move a whole lot more air. Yeah. Whereas this, you couldn't do this with an AC motor. You couldn't move this many blades this length with an AC motor. I mean, you could, but it would be a lot less practical. So I don't know what it's doing. I hit I hit reverse. I think it's thinking. It is thinking, but how long is it going to think for? Stop thinking. It needed a, it needed a hint there. Point three three point three two. Three one. This is with a light, you know, obviously. 
So, well, it's still getting up to speed. I'm going to go and see how it performs at a distance. Sure. That thing's big. That's what she said. <laughs> Yeah, it's definitely a different type of airflow than you get from an industrial fan or even a really good, like a K-85 fan or an original. It's definitely, you know, I don't even, I mean, if you think like, being outside and just feeling the breeze consistently mm -hmm. versus like actually sitting in front of a box fan. It's different. Speaking of which, is it raining outside? I can't tell. I left Chris's lights outside, so I need to bring them in if it is. I don't hear any. Okay, maybe it's just the air moving that I hear. Something sounded like it. Okay. Okay. Well, there you have it. There's the Odin. Yep. Do we ever really do a spin down with this? I mean, I've hit stop multiple times, and I'm doing one now. Okay. So. Just an off. Just I just didn't know if we really did a yeah. high spin down. We're doing it now. Okay. Let's spin down. So I'm going to leave the remote and the, uh, where's the paper that came with it? I don't know where that went. It blew away somewhere. Here it is. Leave the remote, the battery, and the cover, and all that right here. Okay. Um, because while I go get the pizza, I'll have you take this apart and box it up. Sure. And, um, yeah, I hear rain, so I gotta go get Chris's lights out of the rain. I also left blankets outside to dry. That's ironic. <laughs> so, okay, well, I'm gonna go deal with that. Thanks for watching. So walk with me downstairs so we can pick out what we're gonna do next.